all right guys how is everyone doing out there today uh, first of all uh, shirts are here do they resemble the uh, the real the real thing kind of right I don't know anyways I'm wearing one but today I'm going to be harvesting some of these right so in order to move this project along I want to like get some boxes uh, harvest them right like pull them out of this thing put them in the in the chargers test them uh, weed the bad ones out and then leave the good ones and then build a pack like this right 24 volt pack and then I want to do some tests and run some loads on them and then charge them uh, via solar maybe I'll get to use this guy now this guy does uh, to, uh, 7S, right? This is an Electrodocus uh, solar charge controller plus a balancer. Um, duh. What's, go what's going on there? What is Did he just push it in? Yeah. God, these dogs. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, my dog just busted through the door over here. Crazy. Oh, here comes the answer. Oh, my God. <laughs> well, I don't care. Bruce. Bruce. Hold on. Totally just wedged the door over there so that my dogs didn't just push it. <laughs> That's so funny. Anyways, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, yeah. We're going to try to do that. How is everyone doing today? <laughs> Sanya get about 55 good ones out of every 100, says Miguel M. Huh. Well, if, if uh, yeah, I mean, I, I might find that out, right? Uh uh, I have two boxes here, so I got uh, 200 cells or almost 200 cells. Let's see how many good ones we'll be able to pull out of that. And then, yeah, we'll make a pack. We'll build a pack using our little system here. Uh, load it up. Oh, another thing I'm trying to do, uh, the infrared camera shots will be way more awesome <laughs> with those batteries. Well, yeah, those are the famously known as heaters um another thing i want to do i was playing around today i think i'm gonna have to do another board i don't see how i'll be able to do it with this one right so here's a thing without the i'm still waiting for all the other parts so i could make the but let's say that this is the top board and so the very top one here, I thought, why don't I, what, where is it? What do I do with it? Oh, here we go. Oh yeah, so I figure I need to, I need to find a bigger one. This is a 7S 20 amp uh, BMS, right? Because there's undoubtedly going to be people that are like, no, I just want a little pack. I don't want to build a giant power wall. Can I still use it? And eventually they're not going to ask me permission. They're just going to be like, oh, I'm going to order the parts. We're going to build it. We're going to do it. And so I thought, well, how do I further protect those people from themselves? You know, from over, uh, you know, over specking these boards, right? If I say these are only good for 100 watts, people don't care. People are not, I mean, I don't know. I think things tend to get away from me and... You know, some people that never even know who I am, they don't know nothing, might get their hands on these boards. They're just going to follow some link on some thread and, you know, I don't know, some website, right? I don't know. Uh, uh, and so then they're going to not know that. I mean, I think I am going to put like a warning here, like do not exceed 100 watts. You know, that's like four amps or something. Um 
you know, and I might I might build in the fuse. Uh, although I don't know that would be wise, or or I I'd be able to do it because uh, as Justin's test showed, these burn at like twelve amps, right? So even those tiny, tiny little trace fuses there, they're already too big. Those are uh, twelve amp fuse, and at twelve amps, what are, what is that? That's like two hundred. It's over 200 watts. So anyways, I thought if we make a board where the, the you know, the uh, BMS goes on there, right? Like a unit where, you know, here are the, the eight pins. All we have to do is like put a little connector in there and then you put it on here and then connect that and then connect. See, if I do it right, if I design it correctly, then the trace comes right up to that pad and then another trace comes up to that pad and you just like solder, solder. And then the, the ultimately the, the XT60 that would come out of that board would the negative would go through the BMS board, right? And all you have to do is like we would make like a, like a big pad here, you know, like with copper. Uh, and then you, we can do some thermal paste. Where is that? You can buy that thermal, yeah, where is it? This guy. Check this tape, right? This is thermal paste. So you, you, you cut this thing off here, stick it on the other side of the, of the BMS here, you stick it on there. Now you're helping the little BMS board, you know, dissipate some heat on the, you know, with, on the printed circuit board. Am I in focus? Hopefully I'm in focus. Um, but I can't do it with this board. I'm thinking like, how do I do the changes on the board so that any board could be used as that and it's just too complex. I think I'm just better off like designing an end board. And maybe I'll like design it with like a different color or something and it's this giant BMS, you know. Um, but what was I thinking? Oh yeah, the 20, Oh, see, so a 20 amp would be great for like a board like this, like a little package like this, that has uh, five boards, right? Because then you, that's four amps per board. So that would be great. You just do that, bam. Um, but I'm thinking that we could probably do this better. That most people are gonna wanna do like this instead of that. Like this is a module, right? And this will be 10 boards, uh, right? 10 boards, and you'll be able to do 40, right? 40, am 40 amps through these 10 boards. And then, so I need to find the 7S 40 amp uh, BMS, like one, one that is good, it's got good reviews, doesn't fail a bunch. It's not widely available. It's not like some little shop that it's gonna sell, has five in stock, and then after we buy the first five, it disappears. You know, something that like you could just, all of you guys can order if all, everybody decides to do that. And then you, you can BMS your, you know, your 10 board pack, and then you have another one, and then that has its own little BMS, and then, you know, you just parallel those, and then that runs. Because, I mean, you could run a parallel that way. I, 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 you know finally took mine down but i had ran that for a long time and then for people that don't want to do that oh and then here you can get a 48 volt one right uh totally maybe like a larger board so you can put two of these guys and then the the another board that ties it all together you know what i mean like at the very end and it's like a 48 volt uh i believe this is a hundred amp I gotta look at the specs when I order this guy. But I think this is 100 amps, uh, 48 volt. It's got a lot of MOSFETs in there. Um, yeah, we can do some cool, I don't know, some cool like end boards, you know, tying the whole thing together. I, uh, that's where it starts getting exciting. When we start building battery boxes, I mean, battery, modules and stuff but anyways i'm uh yeah i'm just rambling on at this point uh 
let's I'm gonna start doing this while I just look at some of your uh, questions here I haven't even been looking how many of you guys are here? oh my god there's 200 of you guys watching Woo! welcome everyone welcome to this Saturday night uh, chat my wife over there is in the other room watching a movie and I'm just crazy I'm like I'm just gonna do some work <laughs> I'm just kidding. Play around with batteries. Like, what else am I going to do? <laughs> okay, let's see. Uh, first, even. By the way, everyone that ordered boards, on their way. Uh, all package. There was a box there yesterday. I don't know. Did, did I go live? I didn't go live yesterday, I guess, so I don't... Yeah, so there's a... They, they've all been delivered to the USPS... Uh, sorry for all the international uh, people that have ordered boards. I have to refund you because it's like 60, 70 bucks a lot of the times to some of the countries for like $5 worth of boards. It just didn't make sense. Uh, but very quick, soon you'll be able to order the boards. I mean, you can even order these. I, I, You can download the Gerber files to these ones on that page that I sent. I, I didn't say like here, download them here, but if there's links in the text and if you click on some of the text that it'll go in there and i know people have found it because i can see the short link has been clicked a bunch of times so i think a lot of people probably downloaded that and started ordering some so just keep in mind uh it's it's not you know finalized the way i i think it is good right but of course who am i to say anything uh i'm just a nobody that doesn't know anything but yeah i want to do definitely uh this having this hole that big is like not great because uh, well, one, we don't need uh, standoffs that big. Those are big, the ones that you have to put in here, right? So the four M ones, uh, those are the ones that are used like in computer cases. I don't know what they use for, but they're widely available in China. I found them for uh, 25 cents each, which is really good. So for about a dollar, you do each board, right? Uh, four of them. Um, and so, so we're going to use those just cause, uh, yeah, it's just a lot easier and they're bronze. So I, I don't know, I don't know, bronze, uh, it's better at, you know, better at doing, transferring a thing than, uh, whatever this thing, aluminum. Uh, are we taking kidneys today? Kidneys? <laughs> what are we doing? Uh... I'm sorry. I'm super. I'm just looking at what you guys are saying here. Thanks for the 31, 120 deals. Oh, yeah. Did you guys buy a bunch of those? Hopefully, they're not gone already. Uh, morning, everyone from the Netherlands. Boris, welcome to this live stream in California. It's uh, 8.53 p.m. here in California. I needed to know how correctly harvest these. What? Everett? Well... Hopefully we will get to that. We're going to get to these. <laughs> if you guys stop commenting here, I'm going to get to these guys. Uh, I guess you can say you're the cult leader, Jay. Because <laughs> harvest is a thing that, cult, you know, religions use, right? Uh, the harvest. Uh, good music and good drone intro. Uh, thank you for that. No, it's good music. It's not good music, says. <laughs> it's, so I realized that the 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 transition is too loud and it, it like it makes a weird thing. Sorry for that, but I gotta figure out how to fix it. My brother was like, last time he was here, he was like, oh, we can make some cool little transitions and stuff, but we haven't done anything. Uh, so uh, that's what we're doing. Those sanyos that he's about to harvest typically suck for me. Anyone else have the issues? Yeah. So. That's why they're the cheapest, right? Essentially, I think Tom is just kind of giving them away to you. Like, you know, he paid a certain amount to get those in and then to process them and warehouse them and stuff. And then I think he's just selling them to Pete, to us for the same amount that it costs him to process these. So he's not, I don't think he's making much, if any, money on these. And he's like, he just doesn't want to deal with them because they are, you know, they're the, one, they're the worst ones out of the whole batch of 18650s that that he gets you know they're so the worst is like the less uh the ratio of good to bad this one is the worst out of all the things so that's why i wanted to try these because 
Uh, well, I just, you know, I mean, you, I can buy new cells. I have new cells. I can pop a bunch of new cells in here, but, well, I want to try to do stuff that a lot of you guys are going to do, right? You guys are starting probably about the same here. Like, this, this is probably equivalent to the, you know, what you would get on a, on a laptop batteries, you know, cause, cause you get, you don't know what you're getting and some batteries are just, I remember processing a bunch of laptop batteries and I remember like 50%, you know, like 50% were over 2200 or 22,000 milliamp hours. And then, uh, 50% were just below and they were no good or whatever. So that's why I'm doing these. Um, <laughs> it's better than jazz. Um, something about the key this song is in makes uh, it sound creepy. Ooh, all right. Let's see. Okay, but not great deal at 80 cents itself, 55% revival. So it's actually a hundred a dollar sixty per cell, which is yeah, almost the same as all the other ones, right? Trying to make a cell holder covers in six to eight scale is getting harder. I don't understand what that means. By the way, uh well, no, there's only a couple people that I sent a little edit extra in, in the uh, in those boards that I sent. So yeah, if you guys uh, order a board, so there's going to be a couple of you that are going to get a little bit uh, kind of surprised there. Has Jay done a video on his 36 volt power wall? N uh, probably not a proper one. Um, yeah, yeah, believe it or not, <laughs> I just uh, somehow I still I haven't gotten to that one. And I mean that. Power wall went up, but then it went down. <laughs> and I never made a video. So now I'm doing another thing. Oh, yeah. So it's lagging today. What's going on? So it says it's got the green thing. Uh, come on, people. Give them the likes. This man, people, only five likes. <laughs> We're, oh, yeah. 38 likes. Come on. Don't be stingy, guys. Uh... I'm live. Well, at least Sanyos have to be better than the Chinese. No name. Yeah, no, definitely. That is, uh, the eBay listing says they're known as heaters. Oh, I didn't, I never, I never read the listings. <laughs> All Sanyos used to have issues. I have a bunch of them and are okay in my escape board, says Physics. What? You have all the cool EV toys. Uh, yeah, in fact, I was writing one today, again, that I never made a video. And I was like, how did I not make a video about this thing? It probably would get a million views. Uh, so I have to redo it. And I have to think about a cool way, some, yeah, some good way of doing it. Uh, yeah, I have so much stuff that I haven't made videos on somehow. The standards I get are between 1,800 milliamp hours and 2,500 milliamp hours. Get super hot on this charge. Yeah, you don't want to use them. Uh... Hail from Indonesia, uh, 198 cells, says Jordan 1XD. Namaste from India, says uh, JD Grupa. I wish we could all, or what? I wish we could get these type of cells cheaply in Australia. Yeah, Australia is kind of bare. Well, though, I don't know, man. There are some, some of the biggest power walls are in Australia. So you guys have batteries out there. It's just, maybe it's not as easily as going to eBay and just ordering from some guy that's selling them, right? Which, by the way, right now, he's kind of running low. Like, I think, like, the gray ones that I order from time to time, I'm stockpiling on those because my bus is eventually going to probably have a bunch of those. And I was thought, like, oh, those, those you know, are are sold out or whatever. And I thought, okay, I'll just get the, the pink ones or the purple ones. Or those are gone now. So he's kind of... I think there, there's not a lot of cells right now. I mean, he has to, like, prepare them or whatever. With the 2P design, maybe you could uh, do cooling fan if there's a heat issue because there seems to be big gaps. Yeah, I don't like the cooling thing. You're just wasting a bunch of energy to, like, dissipate a bunch of heat, which is a bunch of wasted energy. I'd rather figure out how to, like, not create a bunch of heat, and that is by running the boards no more than 100 watts per board. Um, at least that's the logic that I'm following, right? <laughs> they do have a lot of batteries, probably. Call the local hospitals. Well, actually, they do. I think they replace equipment, whether they need it, it or not. 
after a certain amount of time and so a lot of batteries come out of those uh, equipment there okay so I, if this thing just jumped first time on one of your live streams love your channel good stuff sis Invictus Media thank you for joining us just blow up one of my Chinese uh, milliamp hour testers now time for a repair um, let's see need to find more 18650 in Victoria Australia thank you for the headway batteries notification this morning I saw some sales on Amazon that were way under a dollar what could you even expect for something like that uh, well I bought I had some and I tested some uh, a couple of years ago and one was like 300 milliamp hours another one was like more another one wouldn't even like hold charge yeah so that, so yeah they're just trash sales they're not good um, it's just mystery sometimes you might get a good one but most of them are thing I just trash um, can we use 18650 B cells to RC pla plane uh, yeah, I think some people are using, I mean, usually RC stuff loads up the cells too much, you know, you're talking about like 5C or 10C, or something. yeah, so those, yeah, 18650s don't do 10C, uh, even the ones that I have, they're supposed to be 30 amp discharge, right, you, you guys saw how hot those things were getting at 20 amps, 18 amps, or whatever I was loading them up in this last video, they ain't no 30 amp cells, you know, just a bunch of BS. Uh, I'm buying for two dollars a pack, or if I can't get them here in the US. Uh, I made an awesome range extender trailer. What? Gave me about seventy percent more range for my EV. If you ever want to make a story about it or discuss EVs, let me know. Oh, that's cool, James Plathon. What uh, what kind of electric car are you driving? I did something similar to that a couple years ago, but you know it's my DIY electric car, so it was easy to just plug it in. But I, I get that question a lot. A lot of people want to know if they you can do that with the Prius, if you can do that, which is like a, you know, and the the answer is yes, but not easily. You have to like know what you're doing. You have to like maybe do some software hacking. Definitely a lot of like engineering and going into the terminal posts and. You know, like installing some high, you know, power connector, all kinds of stuff like that. Cell range from 800 to 2500, 2700. Curious, how would you go about running a 120 volt AC inverter off of your bus uh, traction pack? Uh... Uh, so it depends, right? Yeah, I'd have to look into that because I I don't what runs on AC. If the motors run an AC, then you have to run it through an inverter. But if nothing runs of an AC, and you might be able to change that motor. I mean, it'd be messy or whatever. But yeah, you can, there's a lot of stuff you can run on DC, and it'd be great because then you don't get no inefficiency. You just run it straight off your battery. Uh, all it is is motors, right? I mean, it's a compressor and a fan, a blower motor. Uh, some, I mean, all the electronics are going to be DC, so that means it's going to be a rectifier uh, or a bridge, you know, bridge rectifying. So, yeah, you load it up with DC and it's ready to go. It just bypasses the thing. Uh, AJ, who, why don't you make 860 chargers with the same design as the PCB you made? charge up to 20 cells at the same time well i don't i don't know what what do you mean with the charger there's a market's like full of chargers i don't need to make another one uh and i'm not i'm not good at designing electronics i don't know anything i'm just i just like i'm just like a basics man right so uh i this is a simple board i mean this has got like two components you know what surface mount resistor and a, pl a plug well two plugs and two battery holders i mean this is as basic as it gets uh and yet there are critics and experts in the uh comments there that like well i mean people have a tendency and the ability to over complicate things to the 10th degree right and look, I, I realize that there are the, the any subject, and you can talk about anything and go 
deep into, you know, anything, right? But I'm practical, right? And so that's how I approach everything. Uh, I'm like, yes, I realize I'm not an expert in any of this stuff, but let me do some quick tests, you know? Maybe I'll, I'll over-engineer in some parts to, like, try to make up for my, you know, lack of knowledge in some areas or whatever. Like this, right? I mean... I'm getting criticized because it's showing like heating on a board and I'm loading it with 300 watts. I, we need like 100 watts or less. That's what that's what the application it is for this, right? And uh, a lot of people are like suggesting some really costly things to change them. Uh, and I'm like, either you guys don't know how to listen to the application that we're trying to do or what we're trying to do, or you don't care. Um, and I'm tr I'm trying to like make this thing run safely like a three times over spec, right? Like if I say 100 watts and this thing could run, you know, without you know bursting into flames at 300 watts, then I know I'm mostly safe, you know, for all those people that are gonna be like, oh, I know it says 100 watts here, but let me push the limits a little bit, you know. Everybody does that. I do that, and so I'm kind of just playing it safe for that, right? But then there's gonna be the other people, like I said, that don't know anything they don't care they don't have no you know intention of following any rules they're just they just need to push you know 80 amps through a little thing like this or something uh, either through negligence or just because they want to do it uh that's why i'm running these tests and i'm trying to see like when this how can i burn you know how do how do i make one of these things catch fire and then you know put the test up there and they're useful for a lot of you guys. a lot of you guys know way more about this than me and I, you guys are going to make crazy things with these. You know what I mean? Like beyond the original expectation. So I'm like, I'm, I'm a video guy. You know, I'm a YouTuber. So I'm going to put the videos up there. And if you guys find them interesting, you guys are going to like them. And, you know, there's a lot, of, a lot of views on those videos. So so obviously you guys are either enjoying them as purely entertainment or you guys are learning something. I'm learning a lot too, right? And so, uh, yeah, I'm not, you know, there's the, the you know, the uh, experts are not going to like it, but it's hard for me to take them seriously when I'm over-specking, when I'm doing tests, you know, like torture tests, and they're criticizing me because they tell me that I don't know what I'm doing. When, when the, the, the purpose of the test is to fry the thing or try to fry it or try to learn what's going to happen at 400 watts on a board that's designed for 100 watts, right? Like, either you, you just don't understand what I'm doing here and you need to try to keep up, or you just don't care. You just want to criticize for no other reason, right? So, um, yeah, you know what I mean? Like, I didn't even know how I got into this tangent now. <laughs> this rant. Okay, hey, Jay, who? why don't you make it? Oh, the Chargers things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, the guy was asking about I, I don't know. I don't know how to make a Charger, man. Like, I can barely tackle a simple board with two components <laughs> so uh let me see can you direct me to the circuit boards please uh look at the videos the last couple of videos there's links there you follow go to my uh, kit uh website there's a thing there where i have uh, special projects or custom projects you click on there and there's a there's a link to like a, a page that it's not really live. There's only, you can only get through that link. And then there's a bunch of blue text with a bunch of links Whether I thought if there's videos that talk about the thing that is in that phrase or whatever, then you can like go and look at them and stuff. And then there's like, there's a thing, there's a, I probably link the word file. I'll make the file available for download. And then the download is like a link to the, to the, to the file or something. So anyway, you just have to go and just look through the, you know, the uh, the comment section of my videos is your friend. <laughs> Everything that you might want to know, every, you know, if, if I try to put all the links there, I mean, I have a good incentive to put links there, right? Like, I don't get paid very much for these videos. They don't make a lot, a lot of money. I, I do, it's just, you know, a little bit here, a little bit there, you know, the affiliate stuff. So that's my incentive to, like, actually do a good job and put links on the description so you guys can like if you if you want to try and attempt what i'm doing you click on the links i make a little bit of money if you buy something right um 
So I, I think I do okay. Every once in a while, I miss a few links here and there. And, oh, let me tell you, I hear. But, yeah, you guys need to, like, whenever you, you, you want to know where things are, just go to the video where I'm talking about the thing. Look in the description. There's going to be links there, and then try to follow those. Uh, and chances are that they're going to be there. Uh, and, uh, you know, you're going to find what you need. Okay, let's see. What are we doing? Nine. <laughs> Am I actually gonna get to sales? <laughs> no, that's just the title, it's clickbait. I, I mean, not I didn't intend to be or whatever, but you know what I mean. Like, <laughs> uh, can you okay? So, Jay didn't have to apologize for being DIY guy since many inventors had no formal training yet, uh, got realistic results. Um, yeah, no, definitely. I, 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 you know, I'm not an expert in anything, right? I am a tinkerer, I just, I'm just. Fondly, I'm fondling my way, you know, blindly and see what works and, and you know what I mean? Like, and my design criteria, like I said, I, if I can pride myself in anything is that I'm practical. I'm going to look at something and be like, oh, that's simple enough. I understand the basics. I know where the problems are at. You know, there are things where are, are clearly beyond my, you know, reach or my scope of understanding, you know, like that whole thing, which by the way, I haven't made that video, but. Uh, quick story, uh, I did that rewinding that motor, and I, I completely had no idea. I was weighing, way in over my head, didn't know what I was doing, uh, and as a result, it didn't work, right? And so I have that, and I'm going to make a story. I want to be able to make a video where it has a, a success at the end of it. I don't just want to make like a fail video, right? I mean, oh, even though I should, just because I fail a lot, uh, Sometimes, you know, you might see me <laughs> succeed in all these projects, but there's a lot of failures in between there. And that was one of them. And I think that's going to be interesting, you know. Uh, I kind of just don't want to give up. I, I know I can make those motors spin faster. And of course, within reason, right? I don't want to have to buy some. $500 controller because that's just ridiculous that doesn't fit my vision of doing a thing I'm always trying to make it easy right those are the those are the criteria easy uh, you know affordably and you know you can do it better than what you can buy or so or something like that, or more fun or you know whatever like it's got to have the things to be a good project so that's that's why I'm trying to hit those and I'm trying to make those motors spin faster than 10 miles an hour, you know, within reason, within the, con, you know, con, confines of my vision or whatever. <laughs> Screw the critics. Um, any updates from the solar installs from the hurricane? Uh, yeah, I, I just asked Javier, and I guess we, he's like, you know, the whole movement that we did, the whole project's like up to almost 50 families. I said 49 or something yesterday. Uh, so definitely, uh, yeah, I mean, it's crazy. You know, you think about it, we, we really didn't like get too much help. It's like, you know, me, him, and then a few other people that are like together and all you guys that are donating stuff. And, but yeah, we kind of kept it light. Uh, we didn't want to have like giant overhead and start paying people to do things and stuff, right? Because... I mean, that's the, the, that's the thing that, like, the Red Cross, every, like, one of these companies, you know, like, these relief, you know, organizations, they, you know, they have a CEO that gets paid millions, you know, hundreds of thousands of dollars, you know, and you're like, what? Come on. So that's what we're trying to run away from. So, yeah, we kind of kept it kind of light. And so that's what this is for. So maybe, oh, may, yeah, maybe I never told the story, but... The, the reason why I'm making this is for Javier because, you know, Tom, for example, gave us a whole pallet of batteries, right? And so now Javier has, like, a pallet of batteries. It's like a ton of batteries. And then, you know, he gets, like, donated, like, a bunch of solar panels. And then he's got the cheap UPSs that he can pick up in the local, like, recycler. So, like, all these things are on, you know, right there. Like, he's got access to them. He can make them. Now he's sitting there, like, spending hours and hours building new batteries you know this battery packs and i'm like yeah that takes a long time i mean even for me i just you know i was like i don't i need to we need to figure out a way where like we we can not 
have you sitting down there, like spend so much time and energy building these packs. You just need to be like be able to just pop these batteries in on a thing, you know. And that's last time I was there. That's when we started talking about this thing. And then eventually, you know, I talk about it and it's in my head rolling around. And then eventually I mentioned in the videos and then, you know, one of you guys offered to, to help me with the, with the design and the layout of the board and stuff. And then here we are. And so this is essentially for that. It's, it's, it's for you guys, but it's mostly for us so that we can build something quickly and help have yet help more people in Puerto Rico. What kind of spot welder are you using? I'm just using a cheap Chinese one, the Sunco. I have a link. Uh, you can, uh, where is that thing at? Uh, where can you click? DIY. Well, I guess if you click where the batteries are at. Yeah, where it says Lithium July on the link before, on the, on the thing here. It'll take you to, uh, to, uh, what's that thing, man? The kit website where it allows me to make like aggregate like links you know that are related to things and so the, i'll have their like tools to make power walls and i have a link to all the tools that i have you know the 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 welder the solder you know stations the 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 spot welders the the meters that i use the clamp meters that i use you know what i mean like they're not you know they're not the best because i don't own the best but they're like the affordable thing that I thought was good you know, or that either works for me or not. If it sucks, I'm not going to put it there, right? Because I'm going to be like, nah. Island Times, irony involves a lot of failures. <laughs> it's the way we learn and make things better. Just try not to let too much smoke out. <laughs> yes. Uh, can you make a super cheap one? Oh, I don't know what a super cheap one is. Join a bit late. Hello from Northeast Ohio. No LeBron J uh, jokes. How come you change the Facebook group from private to closed? Well, so there's a lot of people that, you know, kept saying they were, they were afraid to, like, bug their family members and their friends because, you know, sometimes they're really removed from from what the one is doing, right? And so, I mean, I don't, it's kind of hard for me to understand. I'm, like, all open. I, everybody knows what I'm doing and I don't care. But, you know, everybody's not like me, you know. So a lot of people kept saying that. A lot of people kept saying that if it was closed, it would be better. And I thought, yeah, I mean, I, what is the negative of being closed, right? You just kind of keep your, you know. I, I wanted to keep it open just because it was open and then they would allow for more people to have access to our conversations and then people would want to join. I wanted to grow the, the group, right? Uh but I think now we're nearing the 5,000 thing. So, you know, I thought, ah, well, we, we can close it now and see what that does with for people that, uh, you know, that are, like, afraid to just post stuff because they don't want to bug other people. Uh, and then everyone that wants to join, I think they can still join. They just can't really see what's happening in the group, uh, which is kind of weird. I don't know how I'm going to. I don't know what if it's going to affect the amount of people that are joining. Um, I I might have to think about ways to like give in incentives for people to join. Uh, and by the way, I mean I have an advantage because I have this YouTube channel, right? Like I'm always talking about batteries, so if people are interested, I you know it's in my is it in my thing? I don't know if it's in my uh, frequently asked questions section here, but I should probably put it on there. Uh, let's see. Can you make a video on solar charge controllers, please? Yes, it's on my to-do list. I do own a few of them, and I want to do some tests. Compare, like, the, the equal, you know, equal panel setup with the same wiring, and then try, you know, four or five of them, and then see which one's more efficient. And then, like, another test where, like, I wire the panels, you know, I try to optimize it to the voltage of that particular thing and see how much we can squeeze out with the same amount of panels, you know? But different wire schemes, you know, uh, and then yeah, that'd be a that's an interesting test to do, and you definitely could see which ones are the the cheap ones and which and which ones are the cheap ones, you know, not just price but performance also. Um, uh, let's see. 
flash scan it. What amp are you using to power your room? How many watts? 12, 24, 48. Now I'm using 36 and I'm using a, uh, a UPS. Uh, well, and it's part of the room. Like the lighting is not on the thing. I didn't, I didn't do too much thing, too much rewiring of this thing, right? I just didn't want to do any destructive wiring. So I, it's just all the outlets out here. I have an extension cord running to that wall over there. And then everything is plugged into here, like my lights, my camera, my TV here, the computer, anything that I plug in these tables or whatever, that's running off of that inverter over there. And it's been running like that for, I don't know, a year now, more than a year. Do you know of a system that incorporates a BMS and an inverter system? No, no, I really don't know. Uh, do you know of any similar to battery hookup in Europe? Just the one guy, uh, but he doesn't have a lot of cells. Last time I checked, he only had like three little listings. I mean, I don't know, maybe he does have a lot of them, but yeah, there's a guy in the Netherlands. Click on the, you know, where can I buy batteries? Uh, no, question number two on the frequently asked question every single one of my videos, or at least in the last, you know, the most recent ones. And there's a guy in the Netherlands that have tested cells. So, you know, almost like battery hookup, but in Europe. Not in the UK, Netherlands, but that's closer. I don't know. Maybe it's eas easier to ship the batteries there. Are you considering liquid cooling setups and doing a torture test with the cooling setup? So only on the inverters that I'm going to run. Oh, my God, my battery. Let me change my battery before my camera dies. Is blinking. Quick break. I'm going to show you how to build this electric skateboard. As you know, electric skateboards are a thing now. They've been a thing for a while. There's the expensive ones, there's the cheap ones, and everything in between. But there's a new breed of electric skateboards they're off-road and you got a glimpse of one of them last time i was in new york and i got to meet vitali which runs the portable electric vehicles channel on youtube he built himself this beast of an electric skateboard that supposedly does about 55 miles per hour which is just insane so i thought i would show you how i would build one on the cheap using all the shell parts to keep the build simple so let's get started So how much does this power wall cost? Let's do a rundown on the prices of all the components. First, we have the solar charge controller available for $38.99, the bi-directional meter at $29.99, non-interruptible power supply available for $30. The battery modules are $50 each. There's 10 of them, so it's $500 in total. The 32 inch metal box is $59.22. A fuse holder is $682. The battery management system, the long ones are $14 each and the main unit is like $200. So it comes down to a total of $342. All of these components come to a grand total of 1,008 US dollars. You can find the links for all these parts on the description of this video. I want to thank you for watching. Stay tuned for future videos all having to do with DIY renewable energy. All right, all right, all right, all right, I'm back. Uh, let's, let's do one of these before, you know, <laughs> it gets too late and then I won't get to do the thing. So anyways, these are the cheap ones, right? Mo Motorola. Uh, does it say when these were made? I don't think it says. 10.8 volt lithium battery, 2200 milliamp hours. Oh, so these were 2200, 23.8 watt hours, according to this thing. Anyways. The way I like to use is use an old, uh, you know, strippers. <laughs> Not that kind of strippers, but the wire strippers. Uh, and I mean, use an old one because what you tend to do is like, you tend to like bend these, get them all out of like alignment and stuff. So these are not the ones that I used to. 
actually strip cables anymore. I have newer ones. These are like the older ones. Um, and so I like to use those because it you can go in the corner and with these little teeth here that are made for the stripping cables. Uh, by the way, I am I am back, right? Uh, I don't want to be just talking to myself here. Yeah, okay. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Yeah. Uh, I like to grab like the corners of the battery packs, right? So then you like click on there and then you just like open them up. Ooh, look at that one. See, you just like... Oh, this is the first one that's giving me trouble, man. Come on. Of course, with 257 people watching, you would do that, won't you? What? Seriously, this is the most work I've done. And of course, I've only opened like four of them to, you know, the last couple of days. Uh, okay, here we go. Here we go. Yeah, it's like some of them are like kind of hard. Like, look at this. It's coming out in pieces. The other ones came out super simple. What's going on here, guys? Okay, here we go. Right? And then these ones are actually cool because they have that little ribbon thing. I like that. So these are easy to open. So you just have to take that off. And then you can use this ribbon to pull on the batteries. Right? And you just have to like... There's double-sided tape on the pack. Boom. There's a tape. There's the little circuit board. That sticker board is pretty strong, which I like, so that means you can pull on that. And then here's the plastic. It'd be cool to get all these plastic and then send it the right way, right? But I don't, I don't know, man. Can you, the, will the recycler centers even take it? It's kind of, be great. They did. Okay. So now once you're here, we just, uh, well, I want to take that. Oh, yeah, yeah. So I want to take off that tape. Uh, let's see. There's got to be a better way for you guys to watch this. Okay. Boom. There we go. Look at that. Whoa, 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 whoa. Come on. There we go. What's going on? You guys, you guys talking? Talk them on yourself. <laughs> Talk them on yourself. So anyways, here's the thing. Um, what I'd like to do is disconnect the, uh, the two, uh, these are like the balance leads first, right? So you just go, come in here, you cut them, right? And then you can use this to like, oh, and there you go. The tape came off. Then you do the same thing over here. You pop this and now it's hard to like... It, now it's hard to short out this pack because now, you know, there's only positive and negative. The in-between cell uh, connectors are now disconnected. I mean, you can still short it out, I guess. But, but then as soon as you do this, right, you grab the thing here, pull it back, boom. Now the, the most positive is gone, so now you can really not short. Oh, actually, you, you can short it. Because the center one. Okay. You, I guess you can still kind of short it. But then you do that. Boom. No chance of shortening it now. Right? And then... Um, yeah, and by the way, so if you guys want to wear gloves or whatever doing this, yeah, go for it. I don't... I'm not... I'm, yeah, I can't work with gloves. I mean, only when I'm working on, like, high... High voltage stuff, then I'll, I'll use gloves. But any of this stuff... Uh, which I sometimes pay the price because there's a lot of sharp stuff here that can, you know, hurt you. I cut you or whatever. Okay, so then we take this last one here. Right? And then what you got to do is those little, those little things that keep sticking up there, you got to take care of those because those will stab you and they hurt. And then the last ones, all you do is you just like, there we go. It's not always the cleanest. Sometimes it leaves half of the pad right here. Yeah, that wasn't clean. Uh, let's see here. Come on. 
and I and yeah, I gotta and I try to get like all of this stuff off, or uh, the most that you can. You just want to leave the little tiny pads. I think that's that's the aim, anyways. And then here's the last one. Ah, uh, yeah, that one's another bad one. Come on, come on. Okay. All right. And then for some reason I save all this stuff. Like all those, all these guys, I have like a bin with like just hundred thousands of this. I, I don't know thousands, but. And then the last thing is to remove that tape, right? Uh, so if you do it fast, then the glue stays on the on the cell. If you do it slowly, then there's a better chance that it, the glue comes off. Yeah, see that? Bam, came off. I can use that to grab all the loose particles on the table here so that you don't, you know, you know, you know what I'm talking about. Here we go. You got to, you got to bend those down like that because those come back and stab you. Uh, one last piece of tape here. Okay, yeah, so slowly, so you do slowly the tape. Bam. So, I there, this is actually quite easier than doing the the uh, the the gray ones, right? But the gray ones are better cells. So, anyways, now you have three cells that you took out. I took these out yesterday, last night, and I put them in the uh, chargers there and the testers, and check it out. What did they count? So this one's uh, 1914. Right, so they are, it's, it is kind of degraded because they're supposed to be 2200 million power cells, and the resistance is kind of high 114. That is, that's high, right? Over 100. 1977 on this guy, uh, resistance uh, 94, so it's it's right there. This is from the same pack, so 1965, and what is this? 94, uh, 94. So then let me go put these guys on the charger and I'll grab another pack that I did. And that other one was actually bad. Like they was like very low voltage. I don't know where the voltage are in these, but you sometimes if they have good voltage, then, uh, well, it's good. If not, you know, let me go check them out. Let me get those out. Here's the other pack. So right away, one of these guys was dead. It actually, it it started the charger and it, was start, it started charging it, but then somewhere along the way, it just lost, this just wasn't connected. It was null, you know, when it, the, the, the charger says that. So I don't know, I don't know what happened. So that's just a bad one, 1985. And but look look at the resistance on this one, 238. So that means this battery right here spent too much time, like down at the like you know sub two volt uh, region, right? So I don't know how long that thing was sitting there, but I took its toll. Look, high resistance, which means that it's gonna heat up. I think if you run it, you know, hot. Uh, 1907. So here's another one that's got it's got it's similar. Um, you know, capacity, but the same thing. Look at the resistance here, 204. So, as, you know, these chargers are not the most accurate when they're doing uh, resistance, right? Like internal resistance, but I mean, when you take three cells from one pack that was like low voltage, and then they're all like over 200 uh, internal resistance, right, uh, milliohms, well, you're like, well, it's not, it can't be that bad if it, you know, there's the, the proof right there that it does show somewhat uh, accurate or whatever. Uh, here's another one that I took, and I guess, look at this. This is like water damage or something. Oh, actually, no, that's not water damage. That's probably that it run hot. Yeah, this is probably like an overheated cell. 
right? If it, uh, if the electrolyte, so if it vented, the electrolyte probably got out here. And then that's probably what corroded all this here. So, yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if these two right here are, you know, good. And then this one is really bad, but not. Something happened to this pack. I don't know what would happen. What would make this kind of heat up so much? Let's let's take this one apart too. Bam. Okay. Let's hear here. What are you guys saying? No discount for combined two. Oh, on this particular um, on this particular um, thing, right? Yeah, I think just, yeah, I think he's giving you, like, the lowest that he can go or something. I don't know. That's, I think he just doesn't want to deal with them. He's, that's what he told me, anyways. He's like, I just don't want to deal with them because there's so, so many other cells that, like, turn better number, you know, better, better ratio, good to bad, fail, you know, fail or pass so he didn't want to do that um oh yeah look at that come on yeah even the connector here is kind of oxidated or i think yeah, i think this one vented what would cause a cell to vent in this scenario here well and the fact that these are all in similar condition, these Sanyos, right? Uh, either means that they were all installed in like the same device that was like badly designed and you know run the batteries hard, or or they're just bad batteries. They just you know they weren't that great. Sanyo was not you know not doing their best at uh, manufacturing cells. Maybe that's what's sad. One of the two, those two. Yeah, it'd be interesting to find out which modems these were and, the, and, and if they come from, like, the same model number modems as, like, the other cells, then you're like, oh, yeah, that's just... So it's just the batteries. It had nothing to do with the modem, with the actual equipment they were um, powering, right? Okay, so here's the thing. Okay, we're just, I'm just going to do this one right here, and then uh, we can uh, can get back to your questions, guys. Should we even test this guy? <laughs> okay, here we go. Let's, uh, I just want to test the voltage on this ones. I know the voltage is probably zero on that one or next to zero, and these are either low or these are completely fine. <laughs> one of the two. <laughs> they were spare because, uh, well, hopefully the BMS kicked in and, you know, saved these two. Okay, let's go get the little voltage meter here thing. All right, bam. There's a link of this thing on the kid thing. Yeah, I kept <laughs> getting tired of getting asked what, which brand or which model it was. Which, by the way, it was hard to get this one. Like, I couldn't really find it. I had to really look through pages and pages of these clamp meters to find the one that I had bought. And, I, and the reason that I bought this one is because it had really good reviews. And it's really cheap. I think it's like 24 bucks or something. Like, it's really cheap. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Zero volts. This one, there's nothing there. We'll put that one over there with the bad. Yeah. These are highly... You know, three packs, and there's three cells that are bad. Two cells that are bad. Uh, 1.92 volts. Yeah, let's see. I bet you these are going to have good capacity, but high internal resistance, I bet. 1.82 volts. Yeah, so these are also, you know, sub-2 volts. So, 
let me pop them in the charger tester. Okay, by the way guys, just for comparison, here are three of the 2600, uh, uh, what, what are these, LGs, right, from those modem ones that are now sold out, you can't buy these anymore. Um, yeah, look at these guys, uh, 2788, uh, 48 milliohms. 2789, 44 milliohms, uh, 2770, 58 milliohms, right? So these are, they're, yeah, they're, they're a lot better. And maybe that's why they're better, because these were 2600 milliamp hours, where these were 22. So maybe these run really hard on that same device. Maybe they come from the same device, but, you know, because due to the fact that they were smaller cells, well, they will run harder. See, that's why you don't want to run your, your cells harder. I mean, you know, and that's just, I don't know. That's just, uh, you know, that's just a wild guess, I guess. Highly speculative talk there on my part. Okay. Oh, this thing. What, is, what is everyone else doing? What's been happening here on this uh, chat thing? Uh, let's see. Face to the camera. Uh, an eBay ad says used and 35% dead. No warranty. I'll pass. <laughs> Any more eBay sales? Defects are not if, but when they are happen, those sales are heaters. Yeah, those are the heater sales. Uh, so I, I wanted to get the, the worst ones. To, and make a pack out of them, right? For a reason. Uh, so it's the same same concept as why I'm, you know, <laughs> loading up my boards with 400 watts when they're not going to push more than 100. Well, they shouldn't, at least in our thing, you know. Uh, <laughs> she has a homie that calls recycled batteries. <laughs> Let me think. Do not buy Ultra Fires. They're marked up capacity crap Chinese cells. Yes, they're mystery cells, those. Anything with fires, junk. Don't use cells that have the word fire. Supposedly ultra fire. Okay, that went on. Okay, do, do you know of anybody that can hack the canvas of EVs to help me add more capacity to three times uh, the 2014 Smart ED? So... There, there are people, right? But I, yeah, we, don't, I don't know anybody. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. And then, like, all these systems are like kind of different. So it's like the work on one doesn't work on another one. So yeah, you kind of have to like get some a coder guy. You know what I mean? Like hacker, and then like do the thing. And so it's gonna be hard for your car because you know, there's not a lot of interest in that car. Maybe you know, the, like. They hacked the Tesla powertrain, right? Because that's highly sought after. It's like, it's a paperweight. But it's a paperweight they can, you know, do 500 horsepower once you can figure it out. So there's a, a huge incentive there to figure it out. Eventually they did. Now you can, um, now you can put that in your car. <laughs> uh, but the Smart EV, yeah, you know, there's, there's, yeah, I don't know. There's, you're going to have, you're going to have to like, and get a dedicated guy to, to do that, uh, which might might turn out to be cost prohibitive for you, um, unless you you have those skills and uh, then you have an interest and in just do it just for pure, you know, the sake of doing it. Eighteen six fifties are obsolete. If you build Joseph Newman's energy machine for anyone interested, he wrote a book explaining the whole thing. Yeah, we like eighteen six fifties, man. Come on, don't come in here with your 
you know, energy, magical energy machines. I just tried, but I'm sure I did something wrong. I don't know what you're talking about. Do you know? That's the one that I already answered. I just built 48 volt lithium battery for a motorcycle converted to electric. Want to see it? Uh, now do not seek. Yeah, man, send us the uh, send us a link here or post it in the in the Facebook group. Um, I've been seeing a motorcycle there. I wonder, did you did you post it recently? There's one like a red one. It's got a big box in the front. Uh, I'm setting up RGB keyboard and mouse, so called solar installer. Uh, search bar and tell what to think about this inverter. Link is this one, though, in case anyone just uh, the gate product. What are you guys? What? What are you guys linking? Does that link? Oh man, that didn't link. Oh, it does link to something. Oh, the ultra fires. Oh, man. Yeah, man. Don't stay away from those. Stay away from those. Skateboard that you. <laughs> okay, guys. Here's the crazy thing. Like, <laughs> I'm showing people my skateboard, right? Like, okay, like when I built my skateboard, I had zero interest in the skateboard, right? I was. I'm a fan of. Casey Neistat, you know, for the last few years, and he's been riding around that electric skateboard. My only interest in that skateboard was the fact that it was electric, and I'm like, oh, it's got batteries, and it's got motors, and oh, I bet you I could do something, you know, and, but eventually, I'm like, okay, I'm gonna build a stupid skateboard, you know, I've never written one, I have no interest in writing one, and then I built it, and then uh, <laughs> I get on it, and you're like, Holy crap. Oh, this is really fun. Like, oh, I get it why people like riding these things. Like, it's a little bit exhilarating. You know, there's a little bit of danger in it because you can fall. But, you know, you're out there. Like, the wind is hitting you and you're just, like, carving, you know. I I mean, I kind of picked it up quickly, I guess. I guess I don't not like, complete. Because I, I, I used to snowboard a little bit, you know. So, I guess I have a little bit of that skill that it takes to like stay on the board uh, so anyways now I'm showing it to people <laughs> not even my brother say, no interest in skateboard he's like I'm building one this thing is awesome uh, I showed it to another one of my friends this past weekend and he just texted me right I was like how much is that skateboard I want to buy one <laughs> they just people just you jump on it and you're like this thing is so awesome. Uh, and then I'm building the one that's got the the bigger ESC with the better motors. That's going to be awesome because that's actually going to like have enough power, I think, to spin tires with like a full adult on it, right? So you put it on there, and what happens is that when you start going forward, you shift your weight to the back, right? So you stay on the board. And so what happens is the front... You, you take all your load off of the front of the skateboard, so the front wheels start spinning. Uh, and that happens on this one, but it doesn't happen in every surface. You gotta like hit it hard, uh, and you can do it, and it does it sometimes, and, so, and it's like, it's not enough to like, you notice it, but like maybe other people are not paying attention. I think with the new one, I think that's gonna, be, that's gonna happen more, you know what I mean? So, it's crazy. Um, Let's see here. Wait, what are you talking? Uh, give the good work. Would this setup be effective for my mining crypto? Yeah, mining crypto is a cool thing uh, because I think your energy consumption is like pretty much like level, right? It's it doesn't like fluctuate a whole bunch. So like once you figure out you know what your energy consumption is, how much your rig is just like pulling just you know doing the, the hashing thing that it does then you can re figure out you know what your battery thing pack is going to be and then you know how big does it have to be to be able to last like whatever you want it to last and then if you're going to have dual sources of like energy like the grid is backup just in case your batteries or your solar there's not enough solar in the day uh yeah but that is that is kind of an ideal thing 
to do this. You're just, yeah, you're just gonna need a lot of batteries because I think those are like power hungry rigs, right? Do you know how to ship HCC cells from the US to South America? Airlines don't ship reclaimed cells. Uh, no, Tom, you're gonna have to talk to Tom and if he uh, has it available in his uh, eBay listings, then that means he has figured it out. If he doesn't, then he hasn't. But yeah, it's a huge thing um, that, yeah, it's not easy, unfortunately. Uh, noob, uh, what are we harvesting and why? Oh, we're harvesting cells. We're, um, we're cracking up a bunch of these little packs here from the modems. You can buy them for like 80, what, 60 bucks a box for like 30 of these guys or 33. How many of them? I don't know. 33, right? 33? Yeah, I think 33. And then you crack them open. Then you get these uh, red Sanyo things. Uh, a lot of them are heaters. That's why they're super cheap. So then once you get them all out, then you pop them in the charger and tester. And then, you know, that's what we're doing. Uh, it's mostly just an uh, excuse to uh, put up a live chat so that people could ask me stuff. And I pretend I know what I'm talking about here. Uh, good morning from Greece. Woke up early Sunday morning to watch the SpaceX launch, and here's Jehu for the opening. What? There's a, there's a, there's, yeah, it's so hard to keep up with those guys. They're doing so much. Have you played with the water queen 3M Novak? Submerged cells plus electrical components. No, I don't know what that is. Have you seen Netgain's updates on the Hyper 9? They got a higher voltage version. What? Oh, that's crazy. That little motor was pretty powerful as it was. Uh, on the lower, it was really torquey at the lower, you know, the lower voltage. I can imagine on the higher voltage. Where's the like button? Just smash that like button. Uh, use 10S 4P recycled cells battery in my 12 amp skateboard. It's safe. 12 amp, yeah, 12 amps out of what? Four cells? What is that? uh three amps per cell yeah i mean uh so it depends right so my so i'm so my system could do 12 amps times four right so what is that 12 amps times four let's see i'm bad at math but uh let's see and i i got a little criticism yeah so it's 48 48 uh amps that my little skateboard system can <laughs> pull, you know pull and then i have five or four i have thing i have five of the 3400 milliamp hour cells right so 3.4 come on 3.4 times five i think i do have five uh or four five I think it's five anyways that if it was five that would be 17 amp hours right and so i'm trying to load them uh 48 divided by 17 yeah so i'm doing 2.8 um 2.8 c almost three c's on those batteries right and those batteries are not like power cells right the thing is that it's only for a split second when you hit that thing hard it loads it up with like i've only seen it like 40 amps i've never seen it higher than 40 amps and then in a few seconds you're like going full speed and so that means like it tapers down it's like you know 40 amps and then 40 amps and then it just tapers down and so then when you're up in speed like it's not using that much right so i'm just like Loading myself like a few seconds with like 3C or close to 3C. Um, the the problem with like a single 12 amp skateboard like ESC or little motor and thing is that if if it if it's not capable of getting you up to speed really quickly, right? Then that means you might be loading up those four cells uh, with uh, three amps. 
for too long. You know what I mean? Like, and you might you might overheat them and overstress them, and you know. So you gotta keep that in mind. Like, look at put a little meter. I have a little meter on mine that shows it's not the greatest. Like the refresh rate is too too slow. Like, you know, it's like zero, and then it goes to forty eight, and then you know, next to zero again. You know what I mean? Like it's, it's like I don't know. It's like every three seconds or so. it's kind of crappy, but it's cheap, and it, it gives you everything that you want, and it's uh, and it keeps track of amp hours and stuff like that. So it's pretty cool. So you just gotta keep you know that in mind. Like. Don't stre overstress yourself. And I think the best way to do it is just to go on a ride, come back, touch your cells. So they're just, you know, like <laughs> burning up. <laughs> they're way too hot. Then, you know, you're you're riding them too hard, you know. So then maybe you want to add like another. Instead of having four cells, you put an extra string. Now you have five. And then you got an extra cell that's uh, helping you there. Or then you can just do like low lower capacity but like higher amperage you can get the ones from um you know the power packs the 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 tool the, the yeah the tool power tools right what is it what are they ryobis yeah or you can get one of these a one two threes modules from tom for 150 bucks and then you get like 90 of these little cells here the thing is these are kind of degraded uh, they're kind of big and heavy for for the capacity that they get, but a single string of these I think can give you like 70 amps. So you aren't stressing these guys. Um, yeah. So I don't know. I don't know what my next build is as far as battery. Yeah. How do you, I, um, I'm trying to build like something that's light but can put a bunch of power because the new ASCs that I'm gonna do are twice. As powerful, so that means it, it could potentially load up the battery with like 100 amps. Uh, again, it's gonna be hard to do that because I'm gonna be getting up to speed like uh, much quicker, so then it's not gonna be pulling that much. You know, the off grid guys in Alaska with these little cabins in the Arctic, Arctic might be you could collaborate with some of those guys on Discovery to promote your YouTube channel by supplying a power wall. Yeah, should probably hit them up. Uh, it, it would be cool. Can you recommend double uh, batteries? Can you recommend double uh, batteries that are rechargeable and ones that can stand winter temperatures to leave in car for emergencies? Uh, wait, so you're asking for batteries that can be in cold temperatures and not get damage uh no not really i lithium doesn't like i mean does lithium doesn't like to be used when it's frozen right so that's i missed the last time you're coming back to new york uh yeah some someday i don't, I don't have any plans as of now yeah lithium batteries can't freeze they need heaters uh, DIY skateboard do an account and start a thread. Uh, 180 amp hours lithium prismatic. One of your mini, your new mini power walls. It would be cool to see you on Mountain Man. <laughs> What's Mountain? I don't watch TV that much. So, Life Below Zero or Yukon Man on cable. Oh, I see. Yeah, those sound like good shows to be on there. Should I purchase an Opus charger? Yeah, if you're only buying one, order one. If you want to get like me and have a like 20 of them there, don't get that one because that's really expensive. And get the other one. If you want to try and like, you know, get a bunch of them so you can process cells or whatever, don't. That's not the best one because that's kind of expensive and you have to press a bunch of buttons to get the info that you need. The other ones are better at doing that, but they're cheaper. So take and give. Depends what you want. Depends what you're doing. Do a 38-120 headweight build for a small light power pack. So, I ordered some this time around again. Because I only had the four that I originally got. And I ruined one. So, I only really have three cells. Well, the one that I tested. The one that I shorted. I think I, I busted it. I think I left it on too long or... 
uh, yeah, I think it's I think it's ruined. So I order some so that I can make a project. Uh, yeah, and so every time they, you know, maybe next time that the, the, they come and sail, then I'll publish like that a video with a project or something. Just so that it's not just like, hey, buy some cells. Hey, give me some. Hey, click on my uh, uh, affiliate commissions, you know. Like, it's just, I, yeah, kind of, I don't want to just keep <laughs> telling you guys to click on my links. <laughs> but if I show you a project that I built that it's cool or whatever, and I'll be like, and here are the cells that I'm using. <laughs> They're available right now. Uh, do you have any thoughts on spot welding nickel strips? And if the nickel strip can work as fuse, or if you absolutely need fuses, I am looking to make an electric scooter battery pack. Um... <laughs> No, obviously. Oh, what was that? I'm not even. I don't even have the thing. Oh, let me see the overlay. Do I have the overlay? Ha! Look at that. Uh, oh, how do you, you? Do I have to transition? Oh, sorry about that. Let's see. Oh, there's the overlay. Let's see. Hopefully, that's not gonna make it choppy or whatever. Something happened, someone joined something. I think that's tied to Twitch. So I think it, like any activity right now on Twitch will show up there. And it will be like... Um, yeah, no, I um, I mean, nickel strips work. You know what I mean? Like people have been using them in like e-bikes forever. Uh, hoverboard, yeah, I mean... It's just... Uh, it's definitely not the safest way, right? Um... But you can do it. You can totally do it. And I think it's safe enough. I think, you know, we're building large packs that are in our home. So that's why we're like, yeah, let's just put a fuse in every single connection to each battery. <laughs> you know, on both sides. We're just playing it, like, extra, like, safe. Right? Because we're using all cells. Uh, it just can't be too... I mean, I guess you can go overboard, be too safe, but it's simple, you know. Yeah, if you're going to do a scooter, just, yeah, you could just do the thing. If it ever catches fire, just throw it on the ground and, you know, walk away, you're fine. Uh, but that's, even that, it's a really unlikely thing. So, you know, I wouldn't worry too much about it. Oh, toys are for boys. Thank you for the super chat. Be careful with you cells. Some have evil inside them. <laughs> and congrats on getting Super Chat back. Ah, Tony's, uh, our voice, uh, Toys for Voice, thank you for that. Yeah, definitely, uh, cells are a curse. And, like everything else, it's also a blessing. You never can have one thing that is just one thing. Everything's both at the same time. I will like... A ready-made 12 volt case so that I can just plug in battery and connect to solar inverter with very little or no soldering on my part at all thanks for your help well if you want that then you need to order some uh, some of these headways well there's there any available I don't know they went on sale today if, if you want to build that this is the way to do it because for these it's perfect 12 volts. It works with all the 12 volt inverters. And uh, you just, yeah, you can just do the same thing that I did on my little build for my Puerto Rico thing, whatever. And then, you know, but then in 12 volts, based not like I did, where it didn't quite work. I mean, it did work, but, you know. Let's see. I'm back while watching my power went out. What? <laughs> really? He had a blackout. Well, we were watching a thing about power walls. Um, what do you think of pris prismatic cells? So, prismatic cells suck. <laughs> prismatic cells. So, I, at least the old, like, cal ones sucked. Uh, they're, they're just... Uh, there's just too much variance between one cell to the other. I mean, you know, one was like 100 and... If they're all like... They're sold to you like as 100 amp hour pa uh, cell 
one was like 130 and then the other one was like 98 like huge variants you know and, and you got like you know you got 60 cells and and like five of those were like crazy off you know and you're like what is going and then so then as time went by they were like degrading and fading like at different rates and it was a huge challenge uh and you know people used to like to like well that's why you need a bms because you know the batteries fall out of balance and they just didn't realize that it was because they're such crappy cells they were low quality low volume made in some chinese warehouse you know uh that's why they were like all over the place but that's why I like the 18650s better because they're produced in a, you know, some machine and it's all automated. And so there's there's less variance between one cell to the next one, you know. So the only variance that we see, it's like the kind of life that it got now if we're getting secondhand cells. But when they were new, they were like pretty damn close. Um, and so, yeah, that's, that's why uh, 18650s are awesome. Oh my god, there's 200 of you guys watching me still. Wow. What time is it? 10? Okay. Let's see. We're almost there. Um, what voltage you recommend for me to keep my 18650 cells if I want to keep them in storage for a long period of time? So all of these guys that I bought from um, Faraday Future. Faraday F Don't tell them, by the way. They, ah, whatever. What are you going to do? Sue me? Uh, all these cells came from the factory at 3.4? Yeah, I want to say like 3.4 uh, volts, something like that. All right, and I think that's what a lot of these char chargers like, uh, like that, uh, that charger. Let me show it to you again. By the way, guys, uh, you know, if you guys are just getting into this and you and you want to know, you know, I don't know, you want to get your your feet wet. This is the uh, is that is that how the saying goes? Is that the expression? Uh, yeah, if you just want to try it out, you're testing a few cells, you're doing little packs here and there for like little things. Yeah, this is a great little charger, right? And uh, you can buy the clones. The clones, they suck or whatever, but they're good enough. They, they they have a huge variance and stuff, but they're cheap. They're like $20, and you can do up to six cells, up to five amps into the pack. Uh, you can discharge at a maximum of one amp. Uh, that's This is how I started uh, testing cells back in the day. I had 10 of these guys or something like that. Right, and then uh, eventually I, I sent a bunch of them to Puerto Rico and stuff, and I still have a few of them, I think. But uh, yeah, this is a great way to start. Wait, what was the question? I forgot why I'm saying this. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But if you were like a more serious about your batteries, right? If you're gonna be doing this, like for example, him, then that you need to store batteries for a long time, then obviously the ideal. Uh, voltage for a battery is you know 3.4 somewhere around there it's like 40 percent of the capacity on battery something like that so there's like the higher end chargers like this guy here that had a setting and it's like you can go through the menu and there's like a storage charge and then you can put a pack up to eight cells on this one for example you click on there you put storage and it just it, it'll charge it or it will discharge it whatever it has to do to put it to that 40% state of uh, charge and it'll it'll put it there right and so then you can store the cells and then you you know they're the safest uh, and then you can keep them there for you know a couple years or whatever and you can so anyways this is this is pretty cool because this one will do like 40 amps in 40 amps out um, you know within reason there's some caveats there like if you want to what discharge if you want to charge 40 amps, you'd have to, like, yeah, you'll have to give this guy 32 volts. Um, yeah, and whatever amperage. 
but they don't this it'll do 40 amps yeah this will do 40 amps 13 44 watts right um but it so if you want to discharge it can dissipate 40 amps right or you know 1300 watts so the only way it will do the 40 amps on a discharge I think it does like 10 amps fully, you know. It will it has a giant heat sink here with the fans. So it could dissipate a lot of heat here, right? But not 40 amps, not not 1300 watts. More, uh, well, I mean, it's still quite a bit, 10 amps. Uh, but the only way you can do those 40 amps is if you put a, like a lead acid battery or another lithium battery to power it. And so what it does, it discharges from whatever battery you're trying to discharge and test and then it'll just dump it into another battery that uses as a power source and so this is pretty cool charger it has uh this thing here for graphing and stuff and i just uh i'm gonna pretty soon here i'm gonna test the newer version of this uh which is the one that has like a better you know touch screen thing and the graphing uh features are a lot better on that one so yeah, this is a more, you know, serious um, investment, right? Because it's, I, I don't know, how much are they? Like 200 and some dollars? 250 bucks or something for this guy? Uh, the one that I bought recently, that's it's a double one. And I was hanging on. I wanted to find the 8, the, the Power Lab 8 on that version, but I couldn't. I think they only make it power lap six so that means it can handle two less cells the six one right and i own a, a six exactly like this is out there in uh ev west i left it over there um but the one that i bought is like the dual version and it's two power lap sixes in the same box and it's the new version with the thing you know the fancy thing so what that will allow me to do is process and charge and test battery packs up to well 12s right so there's a few of them here so it will work for those but it won't work for those like lg chem cells that we have uh that we can buy uh because this are 16s so it won't do it on that new charger you'll have to have two of these uh power lab eights anyways yeah so the fancier chargers have a setting for um storage sorry that's a long answer <laughs> that answer was so long <laughs> that i put instinct uh instinct 022 to sleep look bye bye sleepy <laughs> uh, that's funny let's see will the imax charge 14s or do you have to split uh, seven, yeah, so you you can split them in 7S. Um, yeah, so you could you could do a pack and you can do it at the same time. But of course, there's nothing syncing the charger. So if one stops in the middle or one for some reason uses the algorithm to like charge faster or whatever, then you can be kind of unbalanced. Uh, but you could do it. I mean, at least that's how these guys do it. The ones that are attached, they're two completely different chargers. I don't know if this is sinking. They should probably sink. I can't find any info where, but can you do much anything with cells from a Prius? I'm looking to buy a DIY kit to build a new one, but not sure what to do with the old cells. Um, Wait, you don't know what to do with the old cells? I mean, I don't know. See, yeah, there's not. So there's a tiny little pack, right? At least the older Priuses, so that's why they're not, like, so attractive to us. Um, yeah, but, it, I mean, batteries are batteries. You can use them for whatever. Uh, I don't know what chemistry they are. I don't know much about them, actually. Opus, Aaron says, Opus C3100 has an internal switch. Yeah, for 3.7, 4.2, or 435 five volt cheaper option for storage would be to just flip it to 3.7 and call it uh close enough yeah i mean anything that's less than fully charged it's gonna be better right 
Yeah, and if you have it, then you can you can just do it like that. Like it says, you just have to take it apart and flip the switch in there. Let's see. I know Jehu is pro America. <laughs> American, I'm not American. <laughs> I'm in America. I live in America, but I have a love hate relationship with America. Um, it is easier to buy items from China than the U.S. I make order on AliExpress and I get it in my village here in Nigeria. America needs to simplify. Yeah, no, definitely. And uh, I have made. Uh, I have started linking now to AliExpress be for that reason because I, I know that a lot of you guys are not in the US uh, you guys are in international lands and yeah definitely shipping from China is a lot better so like on these new system that I made I on that last video everything is linked wholesale prices from AliExpress so that means the connectors these connectors the holders, all those uh, are links to the Chinese uh, things over there because it's just going to be easier. I mean, for us, we just have to wait a little bit longer, but you get better pricing, right? In order to hit those targets where, like, these are attractive, then we got to hit those prices, those price targets. Um, and so, yeah, that's starting to happen, uh, except for the batteries. Batteries, you know, we're lucky. We, Although... I, ha I, I did. Okay, so now I guess I did order some batteries from China. And I'm going to test them. And, uh, you know, once I get some, maybe I'll order like a, a bigger batch and then I test that. And, you know, if they're the real deal, they're a good, a good thing, then, you know, then I can like get behind those batteries, right? For all of you guys, international. I just was always like against like China because... It was mostly just the mystery thing. You don't know what you're getting. You know, it takes forever to get here once it gets it. You know, it's like if it's the bad thing, then good luck trying to get, you know, a refund or a thing. So I was just against that mostly. Um, and then the fact that we just have a lot of these used batteries here, right? So... Would I rather use used cells or new cells? And I, I mean, I, I like the idea of using, of reusing stuff, right? Because we are so bad in this country. Uh, we're so wasteful that any, anything that you can reuse, then you're, you're helping a tiny bit and being less wasteful as a nation, right? As a society or whatever. And so I totally like the reusing thing. That's why I'm trying to find ways to reuse a bunch of things or hack things that are designed for one thing and use them for another because then, you know, there's less chance of that stuff ending up, you know, obsolete or whatever. That's, that's you know, that's why probably I... The only way I probably am ever going to own, like, a Tesla is because, <laughs> because I buy one. It's sort of like did what that rich guy did. Rich builds, you know, buy two, put one, put them together, and then, you know, hack them together slap them together because i just something that's gonna goes against my thing <laughs> by just buy a new car you know plus i'm not a tesla I, I don't fit the the that profile and by, by the way there's a lot of tesla people that own tesla that are super nice where there's a ton of them that are just like snobby rich you know don't look at me you know got people you know and that I, I don't think that's cool you know what i mean like and so I want to say a lot of <laughs> and so that doesn't fit either with my thing right and so that's why I probably don't won't buy it like a brand new Tesla maybe it's gonna be like a used one or you know some something like that because then I like the idea of reusing uh have you used any battery packs near the 1.3 kilowatt battery I might be getting 40 in first bunch for free and wondering if it's worth to make a power wall out of them uh, to Florida. Which which ones? I have the 1.3, no, I have the smaller ones, the 1.1 kilowatt hour uh, Fiat cells uh, packs. I have some of those there. I don't know if you can see, you can't see them there. Yeah. But I wonder if those are the ones you're talking about.
Um, this one lets you keep it. Oh, nickel metal hydrate, not too useful. Oh, are is the Prius? Yeah, some of the Prius, I think, early ones had nickel metal hydrate. That's old tech. I mean, if you have them for free, <laughs> you know, you can put it together in a pack, use it for powering. So, a battery is a battery, and if it's got capacity and you can push it and you have it, you know, use it. But, yeah, it's not, like, it's not super attractive anymore, you know, when there's so, so much better and... and you know, we have so much of it. It's the same thing with lithium iron phosphate. You know, if it wasn't for that 12 volt thing that everybody keeps trying to use 12 volt equipment on lithium, I, you know, I, I would not even look at lithium iron phosphate anymore. It's just the energy density is like not there. Uh, yeah, they have more cycles, but who cares? I mean, uh, yeah, it's not as attractive for me. You know what I mean? Like, because we're gonna we're gonna be changing batteries. Anyways, like in the next couple of years, battery technology is going to be so good that you're like, well, I still have this battery that kind of works and it's, you know, it hasn't degraded that much or whatever, but I want to, I want to get that new thing, you know, and then we're going to change it. And so it's, who cares if it's only got less cycles, you know, it's still going to have more, those are still going to be good by the time you want to change it to the next thing, you know. At least a lot of us, you know what I mean? Like, a lot of us DIY. Some of people that just want to install a battery in their wall and never think about it until 22 years or 20 years later when it fails or whatever. That's different, you know? And I think there's a lot of cross, like, uh, now starting to happen there. But, you know, traditionally, it's just us hardcore crazies, you know, dealing with batteries. Mm, can the PCB board that you may be used for e-bikes or other EVs? Well, well, yes, it can, but remember, I'm designing it to be used for a 1C or less load. So that means you can only get 100 watts per board. Uh, and so it's, it's not the most efficient, right? Uh, also, it's not the most compact, which is what you want on, on those vehicles because you don't have a lot of space. So the energy density is not the best. It is actually kind of bulky, right? You'd be better off just using like, you know, the regular e-bike packs. Those are like super compact. So there's, they can, yes, it can be used if you design the system correctly and you don't exceed the the load that we're designing the system. Those those holders are just not that good. They can't they can do more than four amps per, per string, you know? Um, Let's see, are, there are 8S versions of IMAX charger called B8, oh really? Do you get affiliate money from AliExpress? Yeah, so I signed up to their affiliate and I have been approved, I, I just don't know if, <laughs> I just don't know if it works yet, you know, I haven't generated any, any money yet, I have a you know, they have a lot of links. Like, I put that last video. You guys clicked on all those links. I don't know if any of you guys bought stuff. Um, but definitely the... I I can't see it yet. You know, I don't know how that works. I guess we'll... The only time will tell. Can the PCB board that you may... Okay, I already answered that. Batteries from China are legit. But with the steep shipping price, it ends up being a wash compared to sellers like alarm hookup. Yeah, I mean, there's definitely bound to be good Chinese. I mean, all these batteries that we're using, they're made in China. I mean, you know, a lot of them. Uh, it's just, it's just that extra risk of you ordering something expensive and then, you know. Island Temps, is a Nissan Leaf kind of guy? Uh, no, not really. I think that's about the most uncool EV in history, the Nissan Leaf. But, I mean, it's electric, so... It's got one thing going for itself. <laughs> totally agree, Jehu. You and some other EV channels inspire me to get a uh, used leaf with bad battery and have it changed by a guy in his garage. Wow, really? Oh, well, that's cool. Did that work out financially? Was that was that a good deal? Or was it mostly that you want to reuse a car that would have ended up in the junkyard? 
<laughs> my my dad says Adrian Bennett. My dad has some Tesla, not snobby, just moody. <laughs> so I I tell sometimes a story of uh, I went to some like Tesla meetup. I mean, it wasn't like a meetup. It was like you know an impromptu meetup of a bunch of Tesla people. And I'm like, oh yeah, oh where was this? Oh, this is like a refuel or something. I think it was like a refuel. And at some event, right? <laughs> and all these Tesla people were like, yeah. And I can BS my way uh, around Tesla people because I I know just enough to like know what's up with the Teslas, right? And so they're like, oh yeah, oh and this one, oh and the grill here, oh and it tells you. I'm like, does it tell you the kilowatt hours? You know, and like all kinds of like technical stuff. Oh, and they were like super friendly towards me, right? But then they were like, oh, which one's your Tesla one? And I'm like, oh, I don't drive I don't drive a Tesla. I drive like this DIY, you know, electric car. There. And they're like, oh, you're not one of us. And they totally brushed me off like that. Like it was, it was like Mark one second to the next. They're like, all right, we're going to go over here, you know, like... <laughs> Totally crazy. So, that happens. Uh, I'm sure. <laughs> I'm like, you snobby Tesla. It's like, shut up. Uh, I call them the preppy Tesla. <laughs> yeah, there's quite a bit of those guys. Not everyone. There's a lot of cool people that have Tesla. In fact, there's a lot of watching here. Uh, when I go anywhere near like a supercharging thing, they, a lot of people come up to me and they're like, hey, I watch your YouTube videos and stuff. So you guys are watching. I'm not saying you know, all you guys are like that, but there's there's quite a bit, a few of you guys or in those ranks that are just super snobby people. And, you know, they're just rich people, you know. There's, there's different. They're like, they don't got time for our nonsense. <laughs> Smart for two... <laughs> Wait, so I always pictured him as a smart for two electric kind of guy. Come on. That's another uncool car. Well, I mean, it's cool because it gives a bunch of batteries, but there's, other than that, there's not a lot of cool there. It was fun to ride, actually. It wasn't that bad. Someday I'll be putting a range extender uh, on it uh, up to the battery capacity to 34 plus kilowatt hours. Do <laughs> has a leaf? No, I don't have a leaf. Uh, let's see. The stability of lithium iron phosphate isn't its main advantage for fixed applications where weight isn't a big issue, like a large building. The fact they won't violently fail <laughs> makes them a lot more attractive. Yeah, yeah, I mean, there, that is, there is that. Long life, uh, yeah, and then less aggressive uh, failure events definitely it's a thing but you know for what we're doing these days you know that's just now they're kind of rare too it's like there's not a lot of them you know we have like 10 different options to do lithium cobalt oxide and then you know it's like oh one lithium iron phosphate so that you could there's just not not so much of those batteries anymore so it kind of sucks uh, any thoughts on the Fiat 500e? Looks like a neat little car. Yeah, it the car is cool. I think the battery kind of sucks. I think. Um, uh, you can pick them up really cheap. I think they're like you, they go on auction like at six, seven, under ten thousand dollars, three years in <laughs> into the lease. So yeah, they're definitely a cheap, and they're fun. Like uh, I don't think. I think either you can turn off the traction control or it doesn't have traction. No, I think it's got to have it there. But you could totally, like, like do donuts on it. You can, like, press a button and then just step on it and it spins tires. And, yeah, you know, it's super fun to ride. Of course, it burns a battery really quick and it's got a small battery, right? Um, they are just made because they drop 80K on something they could have made themselves. <laughs> So you take up interns. Uh, I so you know that comes up, and we uh, there was a time where I did. You know, there's a time where I had a company with 20 plus employees, 
And uh, we were doing a lot of things, and we were running crews, and, you know, a whole... But I, you know, kind of... I swung hard the other way, right? So this time around, I'm, I'm developing this business, right? It, it's different, right? It's just me, and I'm selling more stories. I'm selling ideas, perspectives. Uh, and I'm trying to do it for us as much as possible by myself and there's a lot of good you know, sanity <laughs> mental sanity is one of them that are it's good for me but there's a lot of bad things like i am like not very uh what is it i'm getting older too so i i don't i'm not as productive as i once was like i my brain i'm multitasking all the time like i'm working on 10 projects at the same time but i'm not <laughs> gaming on any of them <laughs> so that's the reason i don't know what it looks like from that side right on this side i'm like how come i can't get anything done like how come i don't have you know what i mean like but then i look at down the thing and i'm like oh i'm putting out videos like every three days like you know even if they're like you know filler videos whatever like uh but i just have so many projects and they're all like right here they're all like I, I want to, so I'm a fan of this, like, guy, the, the Bitbusters guy, Adam Savage. And he's got this, like, little uh, shop up in the Bay Area, right? And, and, and he's all, like, you know, about, like, the shop etiquette and the shop, you know, thing. You know, the, 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 the drawers and the little boxes. Because he's got tons of, like, tools and and just, like hardware that he needs to have access in his shop to be able to build anything or mostly anything right so i'm kind of the same way like when i i used to develop products for years right and so my job was all day just to try to like okay here's a problem how do we fix it okay how do we get how did we do fix that problem without like costly like custom engineering how do we take something that's made for something else and try to use it to do that one thing, you know, and just piggy bank up all that R&D and all that, you know. And so th I've been doing this for a long time, right? And so I had to, like, order, like, a bunch of, like, samples. I'd hit up, like, oh, I need, like, a, a screw that is not just a typical screw. It's got, like, a thing here. And then I would, like, just hit up the Internet and, like, start looking at all those, like, surplus stores and stuff. And then I'm like, oh, this is something that's interesting. Order it, order, order, you know. And I was, like, ordering all day. And then I was getting all this stuff, so I had to, like, kind of develop, like, a system where, like, you put all these samples, right? And so I still have a lot of that. It's, it's a big mess, right? But it's so cool to be like, oh, I need a screw to put this fan somewhere, right? Like, oh, you know, give me give me a minute. I'll go over there and, oh, here are the 832 screws. And this looks like an inch and a half, yeah. So I have my own, like, little... Uh, hardware little section here right so anyways he's crazy like he goes in on and he has a whole system stuff i don't i aspire to be that one day i'm nowhere near that. I mean, it's a giant mess here like I, sometimes i place the camera but this is probably an angle i never show you guys but look at that <laughs> that's, a, that's just yeah that's the last stuff happening there um yeah, so I don't know about the interns. I'm not ready for them, I don't think. Like I'm I'm maybe I'm close I'm close to having interns. My brother will like a spot. He's a bit techy already and will like a spot. He will need some mentoring. So yeah, I mean that's the cool thing is that yeah, I I lack in so many fields. Oh my god, I'm I, this is the delay I'm watching the the shot here that looks terrible uh are you still making a camera access no i gave that up that's it no more i'm done with that let's see could you do a hybrid lead acid and lithium battery because i don't have enough of either <laughs> one to go strictly lithium ion but soon i will um yeah you could do it uh, you just have to be clever and tr and try to 
match the voltages so you don't have one battery fighting the other one all the time and wasting a lot of energy and heat and all stuff stuff uh you know when i did lithium iron phosphate and lithium cobalt oxide in one pack uh i just paralleled two different you know so two different like pack uh one was 35 s the other one was 30 s and that matches the voltage at the very top and then in the end too so you know at the very top in the middle they're doing weird stuff it's crazy because i got to learn a lot about batteries and how power like how power transfer happens like it i would know like i did some tests where like here's a pack that's fully charged 126 volts you know the 35 s pack is at 3.6 or whatever it was the 30s pack was at 4.2 right both cells both packs are like fully charged at the top voltage and then they're connected in parallel and then so you you i would hit my bus you know and i'd load that battery up with like four or five hundred amps you know acceleration or whatever and then then like you do that at, at the beginning of the discharge cycle right when they're fully charged and then, like, I would run it hard or whatever, and then I would come and then, like, disconnect the packs. Right? And then I would, like, measure the voltage on the packs. And then through that, I would do some calculations, and I'm like, holy crap, look at that. Like, at this stage, more, more energy is coming from one pack than the other. Right? Because that chemistry can just push more amps uh, in, in that volt range, you know? And then yeah, I'd be like, oh, like this one is like, you know, this one's like use more energy than this one. Okay. And then yeah, I connect it back and then I, you know, run the car or whatever. And then, you know, in the middle of the pack, I'd be like, I disconnect the pack again, you know, disconnect both things and let them settle wherever they're going to be at. And then I'd measure and stuff. And, and it was the same thing. It's like, oh, now it's like this other pack is using, you know? And so they, it would take turns like. I don't remember which one it was. Either like lithium iron phosphate would push harder first, right? So at the at the higher voltages, all the energy was coming out of the lithium iron phosphate, right? And and the lithium coal oxide was just it's just riding along for the ride, you know, it's just coming along for the ride. But then eventually it would like cross over, and then the lithium coal oxide, the, the the Tesla batteries would like pick up the load, and then at the end of the the discharge cycle at the very end you know i would go and i would like touch the packs and stuff and one was like warm and the other one wasn't and then i disconnect the thing and then i check and i'm like oh you know i like this has been this is completely dead like this one still has uh power you know what i mean and so you can see where this the state of charge were different even though they were connected in parallel and eventually if you leave the packs there together th there's transfer of energy it would one would charge the other one you know and so it would it would balance but if you run it and then you would stop the load and then disconnect the pack so that there won't be that transfer of energy then you can catch and see where the pack was at and so it's a, it was really interesting to see the different discharge graphs and to see it in real life and like in real loads uh so you could do it like you can do batteries are batteries energy is energy it's just you know you gotta kind of plan for it and do some tests and stuff totally could do uh lead acid and lithium you just uh, just go for it just uh be careful and you know try to learn some stuff from that adam savage loves his knolling <laughs> that's knolling that's that doesn't sound good <laughs> looks better than my mess uh falcon 9 going up 15 minutes oh right now wow time to go outside and watch launch have full fun all oh, really when was that was that probably 15 minutes ago <laughs> uh can you make a camera battery extender from 1860 cells yeah definitely in fact uh most dslrs use uh 18 millimeter cell but i think they're 650 i think they're like 400 or something 18 400 cells yeah so they're already two almost 18 650 cells there just another variant uh, just checked in. Me sitting in a 93 Toyota Tercel and failed smart twice. <laughs> I passed on the third try. 
I would have been a nice electric conversion. <laughs> oh man, it's been so many years since I've had to deal with smog checks. It's, I don't miss it. Sounding a bit down, uh, a pick, a feel good project. Wish I was able to watch. Yes, in fact, there are lots of camera packs. Yeah, so that's what I said. 2S2P. Make a DIY Tesla. So yeah, I'm like, I was thinking like maybe it'll be like a complete Tesla car, but it'll be like on some classic car or something, you know. That way I can, because I need to buy a Tesla and have that freaking code. There's these guys that have less subscribers than me, and I don't, I don't know. I, I, I they, they have less subscribers than me. That's, I'm gonna leave it at that. And those dudes are like they're already on their second like referral like wins. They're like getting two like roadsters. I'm like, I'm I need to be pushing some code. There's a lot of Tesla people watching me that would probably use it if I had one. But you know, I don't have one. I would have to buy a Tesla to get one of those. So maybe I'll buy one, completely tear apart, <laughs> brand new one, tear it apart put it in an old chassis right and then it's still a tesla it just doesn't look like a tesla and then i have the code and then i can get all the perks for having people well one it'll go viral hopefully the video and then uh two because it go in viral the tesla it's all watching and they're like okay i'll use your code and then i'll win uh you know whatever the next car is or i don't know whatever it's it's I don't know. It's such a weird thing. Like, do. It's such a weird thing. Like, do I want to make enough money to be able to afford a Tesla Roadster? Or do I want to win, like, earn one by, you know, referrals and stuff? I'm like, I want to win one by referrals. Like, because that's like an achievement, right? I don't. I mean, I guess making enough money to buy one is outright. It's that's an achievement. But that's kind of a boring one. I don't know. It doesn't drive me up. I know the eBay China drug controller can do 15 amps. Um, how do you manage to balance <laughs> family and work? Is the rest of the family in the same line of business? Are you living your dream at the fulfillment stage yet? Uh, I am considering emigrating myself. Uh... Well, so I don't, I have a wife, right? Uh, but I don't have any kids. I have dogs. I have elderly parents. They live with me. Um, but other than that, yeah, I, it's just, you know, this is this is my career. I kind of changed it kind of late. I kind of, so I'm behind everyone because I am, a, yeah, I, I am an immigrant and I was illegally in the States for a long time. So I wasn't able to like kind of do whatever I wanted. I was stuck in a job that was not going anywhere for like 12 years. So it wasn't until like my early 30s that I was like, oh my God, I can do stuff now. Let's do, let's, let's, you know, let's start my, I feel like it's like my life started. I, I feel like I'm 10 years behind everyone because I was like, I'm free from the dead end job and from living in the shadows in this country. Because when you're legal, you can't do nothing. Like, you can't go anywhere. You can't, you have no rights. You're like not a person. You're not a complete person. Uh... And so then I started my first, my first uh, business right away, right? Like I was like enough working for someone else that reaps all the benefits and they would n they'll never give you enough, you know what I mean? Like they will always try to keep you down there. Uh, I'm like, it's all about like you got to do it. You know, if you want to move forward, it's, it's going to come out of you. So you got to like do the thing. Um, Sorry, my business kind of failed miserably. I just got in debt. <laughs> and then what else did I do? Oh, and then I did Jack 35, and that was successful for a few years. And then it just had a, you know, long, <laughs> agonizing death. And then I made the jump. I'm like, well, that's, you know, this is not a thing that I'm doing. So this is my third business, um, and I'm doing it all myself, right? This time I'm not hiring anybody. I'm trying to keep it small. Before it was like, make it big, you know, hire people, get a place, get a warehouse, buy a company car, you know, show off, you know, like, 
if you if you like appear big, you're gonna be big, you know. Now I'm like, eh, I don't want to be big. I don't. I want to be light, and nimble. I want no overheads, you know. I want to not have to do a bunch of things that I don't want to do. I want to try to figure out how to make money doing things that I love doing or that I'm excited about. And so that's this is an attempt at doing that. Videos is a thing. Uh, this has been a long road, like three years. I've been broke for a while. Like I just, because I just don't make money. But I mean, it, uh, I I enjoy doing it and stuff, right? Especially this batteries. Who like the hell? Who wants to talk about batteries? So I don't want to just be the battery guy. I, my my interests are wide. You know what I mean? Like, and it's mostly like storytelling and content creation. That is the thing that kind of it gets me excited. But right now, it just happens to be about this, you know, batteries. Um, yeah, Jack 35 is no longer like, you know, in, and there's still, I think there's still stock in some of our suppliers or, uh, retailers and stuff, but I, yeah, I'm not no longer manufactured and I'm not no longer supporting it and stuff. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. hundred percent YouTuber these days. Yeah. And so much happier. Um... Don't feel any low for that others have, and you don't, bro. You have us, <laughs> and we believe in you. You're inspiring me across the Atlantic here in Nigeria. Wow, Nigeria. That's cool to know that someone's watching Nigeria. Thank you for that. Those are kind words. Uh, I'm in India, so please tell me where I can buy batteries. <laughs> China. Turns out... Uh, Everywhere else that's not the U.S., you're going to have to buy batteries on China. I'm about to build an electric skateboard. After watching a few of your videos, I'm putting in a 10S 2P setup of 18650s. Should I bother setting up a BMS system? If so, which one would uh, should I get? Um, yeah, I mean, yeah, you should set up. I don't have one on mine, right? But... But, you, yeah, I mean, if you don't want to just constantly check or whatever, then you need to, yeah. So, I have a couple of uh, BMSs. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. So, I bought these guys on eBay. And these are, yeah, 10S, 20 amp. Wow, these are big for 20 amp. BMS, but these are balancing BMSs, right? It's got all the little things there. So I don't know if 20 amps. Yeah, I think 20 amps will do it, right? I don't know which which system are you using. Yeah, 20 amps should be enough for your for your board. If you're not doing like me, where you have four ESCs and four motors and stuff, you should be should be fine. Yeah, buy one of those. Uh, it's, I I'll I'll link to like the ones. That's the thing is that I haven't really experiment too much with them so i'm like hesitant to like tell people which bms to buy right i get asked that a million times and i don't have links for them because i i don't know i don't i mean i have them here and i could use them i did some tests and they seem to be okay but i don't know it's just bms it's chinese bms's you know what i mean but at the same time it's like everyone's using them they're just kind of a thing in the industry, every pack, every e-bike has one. You know, e-bikes are a huge industry now. So there are good BMSs, you know. Um, we just have to find We just have to find them. Like, we just... Like, it's like those uh, ESCs for the skateboards. Like, I did some research and I found, like, oh, there's a cheap company in China. Like, there's a, a company in China that's making, like, affordable... Uh, gear for like skateboards and everyone in china is buying that though that you know all those components and then they're they're just marketing them as their own the meeple board they don't make all the stuff they just buy it from someone else the 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 the, the whatever all the other brands or whatever they're the same they look the same you're like oh they're using the same kind of motor they're same controllers the same thing it turns out it's because you know they were good they designed a good product and they they didn't market it like high end they just marketed like middle of the road it was super successful over 300,000 i read that there are those like uh, those escs right and so that we just have to find that on the bms side and i'm sure it exists i just haven't really 
done the research. Uh, I haven't. I haven't been. I need to go and. Uh, yeah, I have to go mingle with the 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 the, the, the endless sphere guys. Those guys know because they've been they've been this route, you know, for years now, right? They've been making all the e bikes and stuff. So I just need to go there. Uh, <laughs> those are some long questions. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, please suggest a cheap motor. For electric skateboard, yeah. Oh, in fact, I was just talking about that. Uh, what is the motor? Oh, let's see. Where's the link that I had put? Uh, yeah, these are like I said. These are like great because they are proven, right? Everyone is using them. Uh, so what? Let's see. If I just type it, motor. Well, we'll come out. Net gain. Uh, that's, uh, oh, there we go. Get these motors here. Let me make sure that that link still link into the right thing. Uh, is that the one? Yeah, that's the one. Yeah, that's, no, that's not. Let's see. Let's see if I can find another one. Hub motor. Yeah, so I like the hub motor. No, that's the wrong one. That's the wrong size. Man. Let's see. Hub. Oh, there we go. Wait, only four? Only four clicks on it? No, that can't be right. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. It's a search. I started doing search links because okay there it is i just i just give you a link that's a those are a good motor for uh, electric uh, skateboards great ones they're cheap and they have tons of power and uh yeah those are, those are good stuff sorry to hear about jack five but i'm glad you're happy on your youtube efforts yeah and uh you know it it's weird. Yeah, I'm gonna make some videos about that. About because I'm about to hit 200,000 subscribers, and um, I did, I never really celebrate. You know, like 100,000. I never made a video. And, uh, I don't know if I want to make a video, but I do want to kind of reflect on what it means because I know it, it seems like one way from coming this way. It seems like I'm just a guy messing around with batteries, but it I think it's different looking from this way been three long years and it's been an effort you know what i mean like it's been a thing it's been a journey you know and what does it mean like i feel like i'm not moving fast enough i feel like i'm not advancing enough i'm not reaching my goals quick enough you know but at the same time you gotta have you gain some perspective and look at stuff right and so i have a, a video i think for the two hundred thousand subscribers uh where i kind of lay it all out and be like look jerk <laughs> it's not all about you it's not all bad you know you gotta kind of sometimes slap yourself out of like the thing that you're, you're working yourself into i used to sell a canadian made electric utility tractor called the electrics ox gearboxes are shot got any leads on small high torque motor drives no, what? High torque motor drives. No, not really. Hey, Javier, Javier is watching us. I feel you. I've been without a job for over 14 months now, and I need to go figure out how to keep helping people and pay the bills. Yeah, man, Javier is doing a great... Hey, Javier, have you, by the way, Javier, uh, for those of you who don't know, the, he's helping a lot of people uh, out in Puerto Rico, doing, providing all those packs and stuff. Um, he also, long road to to meet the requirements for a youtube channel to monetize he just passed that so how is that going have you have they uh, accepted your thing because now i guess it's not like back in the day when i was like you just do the monetization and i think i have to wait a little bit but it didn't seem like it was a long time have they uh have they uh yeah have they turned the thing on monetization thing on on your thing Bypass though that low amp BMS for SK 
and use it for charge only. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, you can do that. So it's only, yeah, it's only if on the charge uh, cycle or the charge thing that you'll use it. That's when, uh, that's when the balancing happens anyways, right? At the top, I think. Uh, you're big? I don't know what that means. What types of stores have sales like that, though? I got some for sales from e-bike. However, I checked them, and some of them were on three point, uh, 4.335 volts. Can I discharge them and use them regularly? Yeah, discharge them. That's a bit too high. I mean, unless they're... No, that's a bit too high for any chemistry. Any like usually cell phones cells like those little lipo cells on the cell phones they'll charge them up to three four point three, but I I think that's a bad thing like they get degraded also really fast, but they don't care right because they just, they just want them the last two years so you can upgrade the phone later. They're not really you know on this mission to make your batteries last. Uh, Keda is a cheap. Uh, skate motor at around 48 is that a hub motor it needs a belt yeah the, so the, actually though these ones that I'm using those Meepo style ones are also about $48 but those are hub motors and yeah there's 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 you know pros and cons or whatever but I, I'm like I don't have to deal with belts and extra tensioning gear and brackets and yeah, I'm like, I'm using those. So I just use four. <laughs> so, you know, they're just as torquey. They're actually more torquey than those other ones. And yeah, they go up speed. Especially with a new ESC that it'll be able to do like 24 amps or something like that for, for motor. Uh, I am only 10, so please suggest a simple one. Ooh. Wow, 10-year-old. We have a 10-year-old watching us. Uh, whoever put exchanges rates in place has already sold the future in many of us. I used to be poor Japanese yen, but my Nigerian Naira cannot buy Jack online. Oh. Javier, good on you, mate. Good luck with your YouTube channel. Yes, if you haven't subscribed to Javier, go check him out. He's doing a lot of great work over there. Uh, helping people in Puerto Rico. He's doing batteries. He's doing uh, a bunch of things. I just sent Javier a bunch of these. Well, not a bunch of them, but I don't remember how many I sent you, Javier. But there's a bunch of these on your way. So you can build some packs, um, make a video. See, you know how long it takes you to build packs. So if, if, if we hit any of the targets, then you're going to save a little bit of time. Um, yeah, make a video, tell us how, what you think about it and if it works out or whatever. What time is it? 58. Okay, two more minutes, guys, and then we call it night. Your car electric, what did you do for the AC and the brakes pump? So there's no AC. <laughs> All the windows open up. <laughs> it's cool. Most of the time, except when it's like extremely hot, then no matter how many windows and how many airflow you can get in that car, you're still cooking. Uh, the brakes, I'm still working on the brakes, but they're all, it's a 57, so everything's manual, which is a cool thing about electric, uh, classic cars, but also it kind of sucks because everything's manual. Uh, the other day I was driving around with my door like totally open. It wasn't even latched on one side, and I'm like, Damn. So you don't realize like all these little things that the modern cars have, like a light in the dash that tells you one of the doors is open. And I have a bunch of doors and like 23 windows on these things. And I have no way of knowing if any of those are open or locked or. And <laughs> so I have to do, I have to do around the car and try to lock everything every time I go anywhere. You know, it's like. You, you're like, hey, how come we don't have to do that in Monaco? Oh, you just click and everything's locked, you know? So that's, uh, yeah, yeah. That's a cool thing about modern cars. It, uh, 
positives and negatives, I guess. Saludos desde Florida. All right, guys. I think we're going to call it a night here. How long have I been on? Oh, two hours. Yeah, it feels longer than two hours. What about tech thermal power generation? I don't know anything about that. What? My father said if I get 2,000 he would let me make a DIY EV truck. It has taken me four months to get 1,000 or one kilowatt hour <laughs> from laptop batteries. Help. <laughs> wow. Well, it looks, sounds like you have your uh, work cut out for you there. Uh, one million likes. One million? One million. Uh, <laughs> haven't watched Jack Rickard for a while. Do you still follow him? Uh, no, every once in a while, I just watch him. When I have nothing else to do, and just or just I'm curious what he's doing. But yeah, I think he's slowed down quite a bit. He's getting older, and and it I don't know like I I don't know. I would say like at least in my for my interest, he's like the stuff that he was doing. It was that's relevant for me or interesting or whatever. So I don't know if that's generally what what everybody feels or but I probably because I think he's uploading less and less. Like there's not. I mean, he said he used to say that it was never about, you know, being popular or whatever. Uh, but, then, but he used to contradict himself too. So I, I don't know. Uh, uh, Aaron, Aaron, thank you for the kind words, man. Uh, much love to Jay. Keep on great work and videos. Look forward to seeing them every time. Hard to find <laughs> the harvest eight fifty cells. How many of these can you harvest in one month? Ooh, well, I don't... Me, personally? I don't know. I'm, I'm really slow. <laughs> but Tom is processing, like, millions of those batteries. Um, yeah. Uh, Tag is a Peltier thermoelectric cell. You know, I... I want to try that for my bus. Someone asked about AC. There's no AC, right? But there's a giant vent thing in the center there and now i've seen that there people are making these little like modules with like heat sinks and thermal electric or peltier packs or pads or whatever uh i'm tempted i'm gonna i'm gonna order some and i'll play with them because that's great like you run two wires you know you run the peltiers and little fans to uh, you know like exhaust the hot air and then like there's cool air and you're like what Anyways, that's pretty exciting. That's another project. I got to do my battery first. That's the next big project that I got to do. After I get this, this, after I get done with the power wall, then it's the bus. Uh, of course, I have to buy all the batteries. Uh, still haven't figured out how to do that. <laughs> all right, guys. See you guys in the next one. Thank you for all the support. Thank you for hanging out. I mean, on Saturday night. What's wrong with this? We should be, like, dancing or drinking dancing and drinking something <laughs> so anyways uh see you guys in the next video thank you for all your support uh yeah let's go party go party there's still time the, the night is young guys
gonna show you how to build this electric skateboard. As you know, electric skateboards are a thing now. They've been a thing for a while. There's the expensive ones, there's the cheap ones, and everything in between. But there's a new breed of electric skateboards. They're off-road. And you got a glimpse of one of them last time I was in New York. And I got to meet Vitaly, which runs the Portable Electric Vehicles channel on YouTube. He built himself this beast of an electric skateboard that supposedly does about 55 miles per hour, which is just insane. So. I thought I would show you how I would build one on the cheap using off the shelf parts to keep the build simple. So let's get started. So how much does this power wall cost? Let's do a rundown on the prices of all the components. First, we have the solar charge controller available for $38.99, the bidirectional meter at $29.99, an interruptible power supply available for $30. The battery modules are $50 each. There's 10 of them, so it's $500 in total. The 32-inch metal box is $59.22. A fuse holder is $682. The battery management system, the long months are $14 each and the main unit is like $200, so it comes down to a total of $342. All these components come to a grand total of $1,008 US dollars. You can find the links for all these parts on the description. All right, so I just arrived in Manhattan. My allergies are killing me. You see, oh my God, I feel like crap. But it's early, a few other member, family members are here this time around, so I'm gonna go meet them. They're somewhere already exploring the city, so I gotta go get them. All right, we made it to Grand Central Station. back to Puerto Rico for the third time. We're gonna help some people get some power. Internal resistance and... Uh... Okay, so here's a whole palette of these modem ones. Look at these guys. Uh, 11,000 cells right there. Ready to be deployed in Puerto Rico. You got yourselves? I got myself. All right. You got yourselves? Yeah, I got myself. All right. Let's talk about the EV West M3. 
Hi, I'm Michael Breen with EV West, and seven years ago we started our little electric car speed shop so we could help people make classic cars go faster. At the time, we were looking around for venues, and there wasn't a lot available to electric cars, and we came across Pikes Peak, and they actually had a class. And uh, we ended up building the car purpose-built for Pikes Peak. Uh, we ran the race in 2012. We ended up setting a record for the fastest uh, street legal electric car to go up the hill. Now the car that Michael is talking about is the famous M3. 342 horsepower and 850.4 pound-feet of torque. A few years later, I saw it. 